We're back and uh, I'm gonna tackle this today. The plan is to jack up or at least support because um, we've already got support with our beam here. It'll more or less hold the corner. But we need to jack this up and probably cut this, uh, this four by six back into here, stagger the seal connection, put it back in here. Um, there's one anchor bolt back in there. There should be one about every four or six feet or so, but there's not that I could see. So we're gonna replace back to it, probably put an additional two in there and put one back at the uh, toe of what's existing. Uh, I've got the floor ripped out. I don't know how good uh, you can see, but it's it's all actual termite damage. We had a uh, past guy came out, because I saw some tubes here. I actually destroyed them. I thought there were cracks in the concrete because we were looking for the J-bolt locations. Came over there, saw it, knocked off, and it's termite tube. Nothing active, but it's there. So we had the uh, Terminix or whoever it is come out and they're gonna treat this place. Um, but for now, we've got the floor pulled up and that's where they were feasting get a light on it their tubes are heavy in the floor kind of a shit light but those are all termite tubes all the way back just rotted so with this uh, floor beam being rotted the next pier location is Actually, right here, we can see it from underneath. To rip the floor out and replace a new section, I don't know if we're going to do that or we might be able to drill into that concrete there, put a couple uh, lock pins out, maybe dig a little hole and just pour a new kind of footing leg that'll hang out and uh, maybe sister it. I've got to look again. I'm not a carpenter. I don't know if that's something we could do if we need to rip this out and replace it. But the next one over is the same story. So, you know, we might just end up pulling this out, um, which remained, means uh, pulling these out from underneath this wall and supporting, I don't know. It's, uh, It'll be something. We've got plenty of standing water down here in this corner. Um, pond's completely full. And this, this doesn't take a whole lot of uh, drainage area. I mean, just the top of the hill there, everything else kind of goes elsewhere. So that was all the water from this last storm just on this hill. The ranch down there was completely flooded. Got videos up on it. That's where we're at. So we'll uh, come back once once we've got some some blocking, some jacking beams in place, and decide what we're gonna do. We got it fixed. We got a uh, tight end, new double top, had to stagger everything. Um, new corner, new center stud um we got our four by six in there um right now we need to set the floor in and then put a two by four on top of that so that these will actually get trimmed down but temporarily they're holding everything to height um but again we're gonna have to do something about that we may end up having to pull up the floor back to here and replace this as a single piece, meaning cut all the floor loose from it, try to shimmy it out. Um, I think tomorrow we're gonna tack on the rest of this four by six block um, with the shower and the, everything. Bring our other stud down, get these. Actually, these are okay. We just need to replace the sill and everything down here. Um, we might tackle to the opposite side of this beam so we get this beam done and get this wall finished up. Um, but yeah, up in here, it, you can see we kind of sprayed it, but uh, there was just a little bit of uh, termites that got in between the plates and 
and ate it out. I've got a few of them down here. You can actually see what I'm talking about. So they're not into the wood. They just went between. This was actually the upper plate that was real bad. The, or the lower plate. That's why we cut it all the way back, back to good wood. The top ones, it still had some shit in there, but nothing active. So, and the wood, we pounded on it. It's all, it feels good. So we're gonna leave it.